Hi there, thank you for joining me on my list of top 10 shootouts countdown. This is HKB, I'm Leon, this is Darla, and today we're going to look at the number two film in my list. This one might be a bit of a surprise to you all. It is not actually from a film, it's from a TV series, it's from Gangs of London from 2020. Here we go. Thank you to everybody that's been following this little mini series through this little project of mine my top 10 shootouts ever it's had some interesting entries and some very interesting feedback from you guys i've really enjoyed doing this and i would like to hear what other people's top 10s are as well if this is your first time to this channel and this is the first video in the series that you've seen please consider going back to number 10 which is Scarface and starting there and working your way back towards this end. At the end of this series I will combine all of the videos into one long video and will possibly have some honourable mentions in there too just for a little bit of fun. But now here we are with number 2 Gangs of London in 2020. Now the scene in question is from episode 5 and it's a shootout set at a farmhouse. As many of you will know out there, this show, Gangs of London, was created by Gareth Evans and Matt Flannery. Gareth Evans, of course, very well known to the Asian film community for The Raid and The Raid 2, as well as Marin Tower Warrior. You might think that you're not going to get quite the same level of action in a TV series as you do in a film. But oh my god, does this shootout prove that to be wrong. It was a complete surprise to me when we first watched it. I was enjoying the show. And then we get to the farmhouse and all oh, hell breaks loose. The scene in question has this like gypsy or this Welsh traveller. And he's trying to get back to his son because there's a hit squad out to kill him because he's responsible for the murder of one of the gang's leaders. So when he races back to this farmhouse, which is like um, a sanctuary, if you like, for orphan youths, where his son's at, they prepare as this Danish hit squad comes to the farmhouse. Wow, it's insane. I mean, the influences in this scene are very obvious. You have some Hong Kong influences, a la John Wu and Ringo Lam which you can see on the screen and there's also a very Sam Peckinpah feel to the manicness of the shootout and it plays out fantastically. Jude Poyer was part of the team that set up this scene. He did a lot of stunts um, coordinating for this TV show and it's like he's got all the, the toys out the box for this. They had a specially built farmhouse for this scene and they made things fit around all the action that they wanted to do in the scene like building a bigger fireplace so they could have somebody drop through it and set on fire. They had uh, another set that was basically the attic because they have soldiers on top of the roof or hitmen on top of the roof and they blow that up at some point so they, they drop through. It's so visceral, it's so well paced. I would say to anybody that this shootout is as good as I've seen in any film. It's really, really cracking. If you haven't seen Gangs of London yet, I would recommend it highly. Season 1 is absolutely incredible. If you really don't want to watch it, then I would say watch this episode, episode 5. It's like a standalone episode and it's spectacular. This shootout, absolutely amazing, really blew me away. I still can't believe it every time I watch it. So, you know, kudos to Gareth Evans, Jude Poyer, and the rest of the team. You created something incredibly special here that will stand the test of time. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a little like. That helps us get noticed on YouTube and spreads the word of our channel. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and then you won't miss any of our awesome content. 
I look forward to when you guys join me next time, because next time I will be revealing my number one shootout of all time. I will catch you guys then.